Hello, today I'm going to be giving a quick rundown on amplitude envelopes. I'm going to be doing this in Logic Pro using the ESP virtual instrument. So this is part of an introduction to music production, production a course given by Loudon Stearns. This is at uh, Coursera.org. My name is Benigno Calvo, I'm from Zaragoza, Spain. So the first thing I will be showing you are the basic concepts uh, around uh, an amplitude envelope. And then I will be putting them into practice, giving you a few examples of how to set it uh, and relate it to, to the usual sounds that you may find. Okay. So what's an amplitude envelope? An amplitude envelope is basically a way of describing the way the uh, amplitude, amplitude evolves uh, when you play a sound in your synth. So if you push on a key, the sound starts raising, that would be the attack phase. Then the starts decreasing, that would be the decay phase. And then it may or may not keep at the same level for, us, uh, for some time. That would be the sustain level. And when, once you release the note, it may have a release time. So attack, decay and release are times. You, you see it's the time it takes to rise, decays. The time it takes to decrease down to the sustain level, which may be 100 or maybe zero. And uh, release is the uh, time it takes to um, take the, the amplitude down to zero once you release the note. So here I've loaded up uh, ESP uh, instrument. And so now let's, let's have a look at the most basic setup. The most basic setup would be, OK, I want to hear this sound at its full volume. So I just set the sustain up, and I leave the other ones down. So this, this would be called a switch, a switch uh, envelope. I hit the key, and it sounds at full volume. I release, and the sound is gone right away. Now you may notice or may not notice, I don't know, in the recording, a little bit of a click. You can remove those clicks by entering a little bit of attack and a little bit of release. That way, you, it's like the same as if you put a fade in and fade out in every single note. And now the click is gone. And this would be a switch, what we would call a switch um, amplitude envelope. Now, what, what would you do if you had a, a plucked instrument? Let's, let's think of a piano. And in a piano, you have a very, very, very quick attack. So you would leave it to zero or as close to zero as possible. And then you would have a, a decay, which would be long or, or short, depending on the instrument. OK, so let's leave it there. And then if I hit a note, it will be rise up very quickly, the amplitude envelope, and then it will take the decay time to go back to zero, back to the sustain level, which I've left at zero. So let's try it. Okay, so this would be kind of a damp uh, plucked uh, instrument, okay. damped in the, in the sense that uh, as soon as you release the note, the sound goes off. So it's like in a piano, as soon as you uh, lift the, your fingers of the keyboard, the damper goes back into contact with the string and the sound uh, is cut off. So what would happen if you had a more like a guitar? Well, to imitate that, we could just set a release time more or less equal to the decay time. And now it doesn't matter if I sustain, uh, if I keep the note pressed like this, or if I just release the finger like this, we would get the same sound, OK? Now, let's look uh, at sustaining uh, sounds. Uh, this would be what you would find in either bowed or, or, or uh, blown instruments, where you um, attack the instrument and then you sustain it by either blowing or continue the bow movement. And so you would have a quick attack and decay, and then you would have a sustained, a sustained um, level and uh, you would have a very short release normally because as soon as you stop blowing, the sound disappears. So let's try this. The sustain is maybe too high to notice. Okay. And finally, I would like to show you a, a kind of a quirky 
setup, which would consist of um, having a um, low attack and uh, a little bit of decay, okay, and having much more release than decay. So and this way with the sustain all the way down. If I if I hold the key, it sounds very very short. But if I hit and release very quickly. parameters that you need to set up uh, an amplitude envelope, attack, decay and release, those are times, and sustain, which is the level. Okay, and we've seen a few different examples. We've seen a switch, um, damp percussive, a sustaining sound, uh, a plucked sound, and this quirky sound that I've just mentioned. I hope that this has been interesting to you. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.